Shubarbat, my friends. That means good morning here in Hindi. And in today's video, guys, we have a very special guest that's going to be joining me. I'm here with my man, Raul. Hello, everyone. He is the legend behind probably like 60, 70, 80, 90 videos yeah. in the last six months. He has been a king at editing for me, helping the world Nomac uh, daily videos get pumped out over the last uh, six months, actually, since, yeah, it's been six full months already since daily videos have been coming out. So Raul's been handling a lot of them over the last few months. Uh, and so he is actually going to be joining me and touring around a bunch of different parts of India over the next, uh, yeah, probably like week or so, next 15, uh, maybe 15, 20 different videos. So we're gonna be doing some filming together. He's gonna be helping me film some things. He's gonna be trying some local yes. stuff with us. Yeah. Yes. And uh, he knows a lot about the uh, Rajasthan area, which will be upcoming in some of these future videos. So after we show you guys, in today's video and maybe the next couple of videos, some areas around Delhi, we will be taking you all around this region of India. So, as we say, chalo, bro. Chalo. Chalo. Yes. So we're gonna grab our guy here. Hello, hello, my friend. Hello, sir. Uh, we need a ride over to uh, the market's name, Raul. All market is around there. Yeah, gold market, Chani Chow. Chani Chow, yeah. Chani Chow, that's old Delhi. Uh, it's a good market, yeah, Chani Chow. That is a... Yeah. Street food. Yeah, something. Yeah, not Chinese junk. Street food. There is Jama Masjid. Yeah, yeah, Jama Masjid. Jama Masjid. There are some non veg restaurants. Yeah. And how much? Go there and come back. Uh, no, just drop off. 250 rupees. Uh, because all Delhi, far away. I drop you, come back in particular. If you come back here, I give you less price. No waiting back. Simple thing. Well, as you guys can hear, it's a uh, busy morning with all the honking. Uh, so we've got uh, 200, we've got a deal. We just need to stop at an ATM on the way. America. Yes, sir. And then if we can just stop at a SBI bank or another international bank for the ATM, okay. so I can pay you. So we've got, what, a three kilometer ride over there? No, 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 no. Seven kilometers. It's seven kilometers. Seven kilometers. Seven kilometers. All right, so we got a nice cruise, guys. I will tell you straight away, it is very warm in this part of India. I was quite surprised that when I was down in Kochi, it was pretty hot. But now being up here in Delhi, it feels like it's even warmer than what I thought was going to be the hottest part of India down south. And when we head to the desert in some upcoming videos, I think it's going to get even hotter. taste of it but now we're back to the busyness of Delhi. If you saw yesterday's video you saw how empty the streets are and now today the hustle and bustle is back. It is a Saturday and a lot of people are out and about. We're gonna be taking you guys with us to these places where we're gonna be meeting locals, we're gonna be eating some street food and we're gonna be having some fun. Thank you my friend. Nice to meet you. All right guys let's head in. We're gonna go over to what's the name of the place again brother? What's the name of the place again? Uh, John Mamasi. John Mamasi. Yes. All right, guys, we're heading over to John Mama Z right now. And let me tell you, wow, it feels like a completely different city than yesterday when we were walking around the streets in Holi. Got like zippers on all my pockets. Yeah. All right, which way are we going, by the way? Uh, yeah, here. Love this. Uh, thank you, my friend. All right, as you guys can see, there's a lot going on from every direction. We're getting honked at. We're getting offered to go on various rides here. Oh, and we got bricks that we're almost tripping over there, guys. So you gotta watch where you're going for sure when you're in Delhi. But let me tell you this, that's some of the thrill of being in this city. From every direction, you're gonna have something that's entertaining you. So guys, we're actually gonna cruise over there. Now it's time to begin this food tour. We're gonna start here, maybe try one or two different stands, see what we come across, and then after that, we're gonna go to another spot. Thank you, my friend. Not right now, though. I need to so guys, we're walking through here. Let me tell you this. For me, it's been eight years since 2014 since I've been back. So it's a crazy cool experience to be back in Delhi. I like partially remember it, but then at the same time, it almost feels like a brand new experience. Raul, you were here like in 2014, was it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 2014. How does it feel to be back? Uh, it's been awesome. Awesome, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Would you say like uh, the town that you're from, which is? Yeah, I am from uh, Shri Ganganagar district and uh, my hometown is uh, Anugarh. And like, what's the population? Uh, population, I don't know, but uh, uh, similar uh, 2 lakh and something. Oh, okay. So like, 
it's pretty small compared to the 30 million population yeah, here in Delhi. Yeah, so yeah. it's got to be quite a wild experience to be back yeah. in the city in the heart yeah. of it. Yeah. Especially with you. Yeah, yeah, yes. exactly. We're going to be getting up to some fun, guys. Yes. Yep. So we are going for food hunting. Yeah, yeah. It's so time let's, to... Let's go. Let's go. Chalo. Chalo. <laughs> All right, guys, we're almost up to the food area and we're walking past one of the most beautiful places in India here and that's the Jammu Nazid right there. Jama Masjid. Jama Masjid. Jama Masjid. Yes. As you guys know, I'm not very good with name pronunciation, so forgive me. Jama Masjid. And we're only able to see basically like the tops of the towers of the mosque from here at this angle. But let me tell you that it is a beautiful mosque to look at. It definitely looks quite similar to the one that I explored if you guys were around way back when, maybe two months ago, in Lahore. Uh, very similar design in terms of architecture. And as you guys can see, we're starting to see some goodies right here. Lots of stuff happening on the street. Whoa, and horns going from every which direction. I'm the only one faced by it, so everyone else is used to that. As you guys can see, we've got uh, tight little spaces we're squeezing through. And lots of stuff in the market. Oh, we lost Raul back here. He lost me there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Alright guys, we have arrived to our first stop here, which is Aji Nizamuddin. Try not pronouncing it very well, but we're going to be trying out some delicious food here. If you take a look at this thing, it looks like there's a bunch of different nuts that are submerged into the bread. And so over here we have our good man. Hello my friend. Abkanamke. Mamazad. Mamazad. Nice to meet you. My name's Mac. We're looking to uh, try out one of these, yeah? And uh, have one of these delicious ones made freshly. This is actually my first meal I'm having in Delhi that's like a local Delhi food. Because I'll be honest, what I had yesterday after Holi, the only place that was open was McDonald's. I'm very embarrassed to say that, but you gotta try it sometimes, right? Alright, so it looks like this is some sort of, maybe it's filled with rubber bands inside of there. You see that like press? It's like squishy. So once he tosses it on top of there, flattens it out, pushes it down, and it kind of like bounces around. And if you look right down in there, there's like a fire going down. So if you put your hands in there, whoa, that is very hot. And he puts his hand all the way inside of there. Wow, like literally just guys, putting my hand this close, I'm like, whoo. So you gotta have a tolerance, yeah? Yeah. You've done this a few times. How many times have you burned yourself? You burn yourself a lot? Yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah. But your hands are probably used to it. Wow, he literally puts his hand in there and then touches the, the insides of it. I guess probably the water suppresses the heat a bit. Ah, so this thing is basically used to also stamp the thing right in the back there. Let me bring you guys inside of there real quick. I'm going to show you and boom. Wow. As you can see in there, there is a lot. How many of those can you cook in there at once? Sorry? How many can you put in there at once? 20, 30? Yeah. 25. 25, wow. So 25 of them you can cook at once. You can make a large amount, feed a lot of people at a quick rate. Five or ten minutes. Guys, five or ten minutes till we'll be challenged. We got Ooh, we've got it already? Yeah. Uh, I am so excited for this, guys. Oh, baby, we got a nice brown crisp. And look at it. It looks like almost like a nut pizza. The deli version. And let me tell you, oh, I'm smelling it right now, and that smells delicious. And how do I do it? Do I chop it up? Do I just grab it? Do I grab it and start eating it? Oh, that's hot. I gotta let it cool down a bit. Oh, oh. After being straight on the oven, cooking to that crisp, you gotta give it a minute. Now that we've pulled it out of this oven type of uh, unique, I guess I don't even know how to describe it, guys. Like this oven right here, we're then moving it to the next step, cooling down for a minute. We're gonna be tossing some oil on it, and then I think it's gonna be ready to chow on. Oh, yeah. So as you guys come out here, we've got the oil right there that's going to be going in. And that's what it looks like before 
your oil is on, looks a little dry, the oil is going to get a nice juice to it. And then you'll have the final product of this right there. Oh, yeah. Oh, this has got breakfast smells all over it. But Raul, would you say this is a breakfast item or a lunch or any time of the day? Any time of the day. Ooh. Yeah. All right. Well, it's literally the first thing we're putting into the belly, so I'm excited for it. Thousand one in there. Oh yeah, just look at that stink soap in there. Wow. 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 Hi. Oh yeah. The part. Oh, I can try the dipping part. Yeah. Can I try dipping, my friend? Thank you, my friend. I'm gonna try this out. Grab this one. Like that. Yeah. All right. Then we're gonna toss it right in the dipping oil. Get it all the way in. Oh, all the way. That's good. Like that. There we go. I'm learning, guys, one step at a time. It's my first time I've ever done this. Let me tell you, you can see the uh, frying oil. Well, what type of oil is this? Type of oil? Oh, should we toss it? Ready now? Right there? Yeah, all right. And there we go. I just completed one of the steps. Thanks, my friend. As you guys can see, this is the background noise we've got. <laughs> All right, my friend will take one of them. How much? 80. 80 rupees. I only have a 500. Is there a possible to, possibility to get changed, my friend? Yeah. Oh, there we go. We're cutting up into slices there. Raul, have you ever had one of these? No. No, first time. Yes. Oh yeah, cut it up into eight different slices there. This is like pizza slices. Literally, it looks like pizza right now. Delhi's pizza. Oh, thank you very much, but my friend. But this one is sweet one. Oh, look at this, look at this thing. That is looking delish. I can't wait to try. I'm gonna let it cool down for one second here. Oh, 400 is fine, 400 is fine. Except for it. No, no, it's okay, it's okay. No problem, my friend. It's fine, it's fine. Guys, we're gonna go ahead and try it out here. Let's just dig right in. Oh, that thing is still nice and hot. Oh, yeah. That is incredibly tasty, guys. It's almost like when you take a bite out of it, it's got that crunchy taste to it, but mixed in with that oil, it just has a nice dessert taste to it. Mmm. And it infuses nicely with the nuts on there. Wow, wow. I must say guys, I had no idea what I would expect the taste to be because when you first look at it, you imagine maybe like a bread taste along with like some almonds on it, but it's actually, it's so much different. I think it has to do with that frying oil when it soaks into it. Mm. Definitely not the healthiest thing in the world, but it is delicious. Oh, sorry. Uh oh. Almost gotten ran over by the broom, guys. Mm. Perfect. All right, Raul's having one for the first time, too. Let's see his reactions. Analyzing those flavors deeply. What do you say? What, what, what's your line? <laughs> G-O-O-D? Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. Raul's going to be trying one of these delicious, delicious treats here. What do you think, brother? As Max said, G-double-O-D. <laughs> you guys heard it live. It is so good. And you yeah, yeah. you've never seen one of those in your uh, city no. where you're from, right? No. It's famous in uh, Delhi. Famous in Delhi. Wow. Yeah. yeah super good, guys. Yeah. And the name of it one more time? It's Shahi Shirmal. Shahi Shimel. Yes. Yeah. So, guys, yeah, it's called a Shahi Shimel. And let me tell you, delicious. Highly recommend it. If, if this uh, first stop has any sort of prediction of what the rest of this food tour is going to look like we're going to be having some delicious things today next one right around the uh, mosque here yeah perfect so we'll be cruising right around and guys just to let you know 80 rupees is just over one us dollar to have one of these and let me tell you it was great danivad baya danivad thank you thank you so much guys danivad baya means uh thank you brother all right, guys, we're heading over to uh, Chamnicho. 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 And so on our way here, it's an interesting market we've got going on here. As you can see, 
They've got the uh, sheets up top to give it some shade. Wow, that is a very large balloon. No, thank you, my friend. I appreciate it. I think that's probably the largest balloon I've ever seen. And now we're uh, cruising through here. Seems like it's a uh, market predominantly for clothing, textiles, rugs as well. Market. Local market, yeah. A lot of cool looking stuff here. Purses as well. And jewelry. The what? Very cheap market. Very cheap. Uh, so you get things for a good price here? Yeah, very good price. Yeah, very good price. We've even got mopeds coming through. Wow, these guys have like six cases of water on there. That is efficiency. All right, guys, I'm seeing something for uh, rehydration fluids here. Hey, bro. Hello, my friend. Namaste. Namaste. How are we doing? How are, how are you guys doing? Where are you from? From the U.S. Yes. Yeah. Which in which U.S.? Uh, Chicago. Chicago. Oh my God. Yeah, yeah. And you? You're from Delhi? Yes. Yeah, I'm from Haryana. Haryana. It's how far? Uh, it's uh, approximately 200 kilometers. 200 kilometers. Ah, very yes. nice. Very nice. Yeah, that's great. And apparently, uh, this is pretty good. What is this? A lemonade? Lemon. Lemon. All right. Lemon fruit juice here. Yeah. And so, lemon. Little bit salt. Little salt. All right. Yeah. So it's special to Delhi. Yes. Yes. All right. All right. I'm Kesa here, my friend. Uh, can I please have uh, one for me, one for Raul? Uh, two juices. Uh, two of them. Yeah. Perfect. So it looks like we're gonna be loading it up with. Nice to meet you, my friend. Okay, can I'm K. My name is Ahmed. Ahmed? Ahmed. Ahmed. Mac. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, bro. Thank you, guys. Nice Goodbye. You. Enjoy. See you. All right. So it looks like we are. Step one, we're chopping the limes in half there. Step two, oh, he's got a little crusher, and that tosses the lime juice straight in there. Boom. And we got a little sugar there, a little powder. Or is that, that looks like some sort of salt. Oh, that's salt then, yeah. Some salt, and then what is that going in there? Sugar. Sugar? All right. And uh, we need to check to make sure it is uh, filtered water. I can buy a bottle of water to put in there. All right, so we have oh, carbonated soda. It looks like. Hello, bro. Vlogger, yeah. Yes. What is your channel name? Uh, right there, brother. Okay. World No Max. World No Max. Okay. Yes, sir. You'll be in the video. Okay. okay. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Thanks. Cheers. Thank you, brother. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Perfect. Cheers, brothers. Yes, Enjoy. Yes. Have See fun. You. Okay, okay. Oh, and we have the final product here. Thank you. Donivad Baya. Oh, yeah. That is nice. It's got a carbonation flavor to it. The salt gives it a little bit of an edge to your typical lemonade. Very rehydrating, though. Let me tell you, with a hot deli sun coming in, you have one of these cold lemonade types of, uh, I don't know if you call it lemonade, but lemon juices. You're feeling great after. So we better, uh, without further ado, finish her off. <sighs> now that is delish. Fantastic, brother. Danivad. You said Dhanyavad. Dhanyavad. Dhanya, Dhanyavad. Dhanyavad. Yes. Uh, okay, I gotta work on that accent. Yeah, yeah. All right, thank you, my friend. Tip for a big thank you. <laughs> All right, Chalo, Chale. All right, guys, now we're gonna cruise on over to uh, Chami Chok here. We've got a little bit further, we're gonna be walking through the markets. There's actually the entrance to the mosque right here. Very, very beautiful and massive. You can see that thing towering into the air. Oh, as always, you gotta watch where you're going here because we got mopeds, we got people walking. You never know what's gonna be coming, let's put it that way. Here we go, cruising through the neighborhood here. And let me tell you, it's not as busy over here as some of the other places. It seems like it's a bit more of like a industrial side of things. Some food preparation here. Oh, and some fresh fruits right there. Bro, look at those grapes. They're like long. Mm. Honestly, those look pretty tasty. That's how you know I'm really hungry, guys. Like literally anything I'm anything I'm seeing right now looks delicious. Guys, as you can see right down there, we are in front of the Red Fort. 
so we're actually in the heart of old delhi and let me tell you this if you saw yesterday's video i almost didn't even recognize where we were at this is where we walked through when we were celebrating the beginning of yesterday's video during holy and it was crazy there was maybe like one one hundredth of the amount of people now it's hustling and bustling on a saturday i'm excited to go get in the heart of it let's do it hello my friend Chicken? Very good. Alright. How can I pay hey? How can I pay hey? Child? Max. Max. Nice to meet you. Nice name. Thank you, and yours as well. You guys are from Delhi? Yeah. Very nice place. See you. Alright. Me and Tumas. Hello, I'm Kanam K. Hey. Ansul Singh Shaman. Ansul Shahan. Ansul. 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 Singh Shahan. Singh Shahan. Nice to meet you, Ansul Singh Shahan. It's a pleasure. My name's Mac. Yeah, uh, you're from Delhi? Yeah, very nice, very nice. We're uh, exploring old Delhi today, so we're trying out a bunch of different local street foods. So it's gonna be delish, yeah? Very nice. Where are you from? Uh, from the US. Yeah. So visiting uh, Delhi for my second time. Second time? Yeah, second time. Nice, very nice. nice. Uh, very nice place. Good people here. A lot of fun. A lot of things to do. So much going on all the time. So it's fun. Yeah. Nice to meet you, my friend. See you. Hello. So guys, I must say it's uh, pretty exciting right now. We're meeting so many locals within seconds of walking on this street. So let me tell you this, guys. If you want to go to a place where you're going to be able to meet people, get literally soaked right up in the culture, Delhi is the spot. Namaskar. Oh, no handshake. Ah, nice to meet you. Peso, bye. Kidney rupee to go down there. Hmm? How much is that? He's saying as much as you want. Ah, as much as I want. That's a smart pricing tactic. Chalo. Uh, all right, hop up in here, Raul. First time on a bike taxi for you? Yeah, yeah. Uh, you've never been on one? Bicycle. Yeah, bicycle. Bi bicycle, rickshaw. Danevad bai. All right, guys, we're, we're testing out a little bit of the Hindi. We're getting better, slowly but surely. You know, practice makes perfect, as they say. My pronunciation probably isn't great, so he probably thought I was maybe speaking English. <laughs> what do you think of the pronunciation? Yeah, it's good. It's good? good. It's very oh, wow. Good. I didn't expect that. Yeah. Yeah. So guys, the reason why we hopped on a bicycle taxi right now is because we took some directions from a couple different locals and a lot of them were sending us in the other direction. And then the last gentleman that we ran into, he decided to let us know exactly where it was, which was the opposite direction. So it's all right, we got to show you a little bit more this way and then we're gonna be cruising back just a few minutes on the bicycle. Our man is uh, working hard to drive us. That's uh, definitely the biryani bellies that uh, he has to stand yes. up to really get those legs going to move it, you know? Appreciate it, bro. Daniyavad, bye. Yeah, but here we go, guys. Chalo. That means let's go. So what I'm also noticing here, guys, is that pretty much his only bicycle taxis here. So our auto rickshaw is not allowed here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, so that makes only a lot more sense. Only uh, bicycle rickshaw. Bicycle rickshaws yes. only. All right, very nice. Yeah, there's a lot of them, guys, in every direction. Hello, namaskar. And we're here? Oh, uh, we're here. Huh? Do you know it's okay? Chalo bro? Yeah. Here. Wow guys, the craziness of this market. Is this the spot right here? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. We wow. are trying here Pachori. Pachori? Yes. Uh, which one's Pachori down there? This one. This one. Ah, Kachori. Yeah. That looks delicious. Guys, as you can see here, there is a lot of street food options here. All of these different types. Are these curries right there? Yeah, yeah. Right, we've got curries, we've got a lot of fried stuff. You know, there's nothing better 
than some delicious fried stuff. If you want to line your stomach with a proper base to be walking around, get those carbs inside of you. Namaskar. Uh, Guys, we're testing out the Hindi and I'm not the not that good yet, but we're getting there. Practice makes perfect. I forgot how to say my name is. But as you can see here, we've got uh, the whole kitchen back here. Namaskar. Oh, didn't hear me. <laughs> so it looks like we're just tossing it right over there in the microwave, getting it heated up, and we'll be ready to chow. Namaskar. Okay, so hey. Oh, there we go. Done already. 30 seconds, and this is going to be delicious. What type of sauce is this? Miso. Uh, sugar. Yeah. No, no, no. This is sweet. You can uh, grab this. This is onion kachori. Oh, you, you pop it right open like that. Yeah, yeah. All right, guys. This is going to be a new way of eating. Oh. So we're going to. Basically, oh, punch a hole right in there and then we're gonna fill her up. Yeah, yeah. All right. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Is that spicy? Medium spice. Medium spice. All right, we're gonna find out what medium spice means in just a second. Let's try this thing out. It's a TK one? TK? Yeah, perfect. Mmm. Very TK. Mm -hmm. As you guys can see, we've got some delicious vegetables. He was right, a mild spice. I definitely enjoy the spice at this level. The fried crunch mixed with the chew inside. Mm -mm -mm. I think that sauce even has a little sweetness in it. It's quite nice. I will say, guys, probably two or three of these things will be very filling for you because they're like pretty thick there. You can see the bread's probably almost a half a centimeter thickness and it's just loaded up with all types of things I want to say. Like we've got onions in there. We've got what types of other ingredients? Onions and anything else? Potatoes? Yeah. Oh, there we go. Yeah, the potatoes are great. It's a good, good base layer to it. Mm. Uh, one water, please, brother. No water. Water, bro. Danny Vod, bye. And they bye. There we go, understood that one. Hindi's good? Hindi's TK? I was thirsty, I think. Oh yeah. A little thirsty. Someone was laughing over there. <laughs> Not often do you see someone slam almost a full liter. Oh, oh yeah. You know what, there is a little bit of a spice because I can feel it in the sinuses, that's how you know. Mm. Oh yeah, delicious. Uh, kidney rupee? Kidney rupee? Oh my god, guys. Delicious. Let me tell you that. We are going to be getting our bellies very full. That's only two items in it. I can already tell my body's starting to fill up, but... We're not stopping early. We're gonna keep chowing down. We're gonna get get a bit more down. Oh, Danny Abad, bye. That's okay. Um, Chalo? Danny Abad. Okay, we just walked from this spot right down here. So like five steps. We don't have to go too far for our next stop here. We're gonna be at the Paraka World. Been around since 1889. So we're talking like 140 years roughly since it's been around. Oh, and those smells, it's gonna be delicious. I love paratha, as you know, you've seen. I've had paratha in Pakistan, Sri Lanka, in India the first time I was here. So, so good. Let's head over here and try some. Oh, we got a busy, uh, pretty busy day. Looks like everyone's coming to get the parathas. And this is where the magic happens, the full stove and everything. Namaskar, my friend. Abkesehe. Abkesehe. Oh, he's the man here. Namaskar, my friend. Namaskar, bye. Can I have one paratha made the special way? Perfect. 
Oh yeah, let's, let's do that. Uh, spicy, medium, yeah? Medium. Down here about five. Oh yeah, so it looks like, what's going on? We're tossing a little bit in the bowl, we're mixing it up. That looks like mixed, mixed vegetables with peas, with some onions in there. A little bit of spice. No onion? Oh, it looks just like it. What is the stuff that looks like onion? Carrot. Oh, carrots, wow. That is peas. Peas, oh. Cauliflower. Cauliflower. Oh, a little goat cheese in there too. Wow. That looks amazing. And then he's basically squishing it all together, rolling it in a ball, tossing it in some flour it looks like, tossing it over on the uh, rolling pin, and wow, it turns it into like a pancake type thing. A little more flour on it, a little more flattened. And oh my god, now that my friends is a delish looking paratha. Tosses it right in the oil, down your vibe, bye. Wow. Yeah, that thing just sizzles right in there. I love watching the parathas. Come back. Guys, it's literally like, Maybe in one minute, that thing's already going to be ready to be chowed. Yeah. Wow. Oh my god. And it just mixes it around a little bit, gets that oil going in there. Oh, that is some hot oil. You got to be very careful over there. One spray up on there, and you're going to be uh, burning your fingers pretty easily. Wow, guys. Ho, ho, ho. I think in terms of bread, paratha is definitely number one. Yum, yum, yum. Oh. So it's a busy day here. You can sit here. Sit over here? Alright. Oh, better watch out here. You can grab a spot down there, bro. Chalo. You hear it? Behind you. Other side, yeah? Oh yeah, we've got even another station over here. <laughs> Let me tell you guys, it is hot here in Delhi. My body is still adjusting to it. But uh, another couple of days in the Delhi heat, it'll be normalized. Oh, guys, this is a feast right here. Raul, you're going to have to uh, have that. My belly is going to be full. Guys, this is stop number three. So. Let's check, it might be a little too hot to eat. No, we're, we're gonna jump right in, this problem is too good to wait. Oh, actually, I'm just kidding, I should've burned my fingers. We'll give it a minute. Bro. So you guys heard the name. Oh, and we got something else going on here. It looks like some sort of uh, peppers. Pickles. Pickles, ah, pickles, interesting. Yeah, guys, I'm not even gonna try and repeat these names. I'll need Raul's help. I'm not good with names, especially when they're that complex, but let's jump right in. We're gonna try out this delicious paratha here. This is probably the most unique way I've ever seen a paratha made. Um, the way it was kind of like mashed up together to fill the insides of the paratha bread. You can see it almost like splits open now, and we can dig right in. The green sauce, I, I love green sauce. It's always green juices, everything green. It just screams healthy, even if sometimes it's not, but I think that is. We'll see what this one tastes like. Mm. Mm. Very oily, but delicious, guys. I will say, it's a much thinner type of paratha bread. You've seen me have a, have a bunch of different types of paratha. Look at how small that is. That's like a tenth of a millimeter thickness. And so it gives it a different type of uh, texture, flavor to it. And the cheese that was in there, I want to say it was, was it goat cheese? Was it goat cheese that he put in there? Goat? No, no, the, this was in the masala. Masala. Masala, but there was cheese in there. So the masala, I'm not entirely sure, certain what type of cheese is part of it, but you can uh, definitely taste it in there. Mm. The green sauce is only slightly salty, but very flavorful. I like that a lot. Now let's try this one here. It looks like there's potatoes on it. We'll try and scoop one of those up this way. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. The potatoes go well. Pretty good sized bite there. Let me tell you, with the potatoes like that, you put them together, it gives it almost a nice like uh, like lighter chew inside, and I like that. And is this bananas right there? Yeah, yeah. Wow, bananas mixed with the paratha. Now that's gonna be a unique flavor. Let's try this one out here. Oh yeah, that's definitely bananas. Mm. 
So that one's if you're more into like a sweeter taste. I do like it, it's unique. Um, but I do like a, more of a salty taste with the paratha bread than a sweet. Preferably speaking, but both have a nice zing to them. So this is uh, sitafal. Sitafal? Yeah, sitafal. Sitafal. All right, guys, we're gonna be trying out the sitafal. Not a clue what's in it, but we're gonna find out. Mm. That one reminds me almost of like, almost like a sweet potato type. I'm not entirely certain of the complexions, but yeah, it does veer more on the sweet side than on like the salty side. It is a good flavor. And then the one next to it, I can already see we've got potatoes hanging out. And let's check it out. Mm. Oh, that's nice. Mm -hmm. The potato, kind of like almost similar to a curry taste. I would rate it as this one right down here. This one right here that I just had, as well as the green one. Those are my two favorites. Other ones are very good too, but it's the spot. Uh, uh, no, I got no, the water bottle at the last shop. So 80 rupees. 80? Uh, 80 rupees, guys, for the paratha. That's about one US. Thank you, my friend. Oh, thank you. Wow, that was a delicious meal. Oh my gosh. This food tour has been tasting good. Street food, guys. Oh, as you can see, it's a little busy today. Yeah, we'll finish it out there. It's a little too hard. So guys, as you can see here, we've got a lot of various places to get food in this area. It's pretty much never ending. Like that's another paratha stop, so we're probably gonna skip it that time because we just had one and it was delicious. But um, a lot of different food options for every person's type of taste here. We've got Babu Ram. Para oh, Paratha Whale. So that's a little something something. What do we got going on over there? Hello, hello? All right. Markets mixed into here as well. Wow, guys. As you can see, you got to watch out. We got some wires hanging right there. Pretty close there. So as you're walking through uh, Old Delhi, make sure you uh, don't run into any live wires. I don't know if they're live. They could be. But let me this put it this place, way. I don't want to test it. This place is Chani Cho. Chani Cho. Yeah. Uh, in Chani Cho. Whoa, we got a fast-paced biker this, coming this through. This is Paratha Valley Gali. Paratha Valley. Yeah. Oh, guys, we're in Paratha Valley. I love that name. Uh, paratha Delhi. Paratha Delhi. Paratha Valley Gali. Gali. Uh, paratha Street. Paratha Street in Gali. All right, tight little alleyways here, guys. This is India. Guys, I must say, it's pretty mind blowing to see these wires. Imagine being an electrician trying to figure out which wire goes where. I'm mind blown. <laughs> Anyways, I think we found our next spot here, which we've got some uh, paludas. Is that what they're called here? Hello, Namaskar. 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 Hey, TK, TK. Aap ka naam kya hai? Sorry? Aap ka naam kya hai? My name is Bobby, Bobby Barutra. Ah, you? very nice. Uh, Ma Renam May Mac. Mac. Did Mac, I say that right? From? from the US. US, oh yes. my yeah. god. Yeah. Yeah. Nice to meet I'm you, my friend. Uh, nice to meet you, my and friend. And he's my owner. Hello. Oh, he's are the you? famous person in this river. TK? He's the famous person in this show. Ah, yes, he is, yeah. Thank you. Very nice. It's a pleasure to meet you guys. So these are the uh, world famous, yeah? Right yes, here? Yes, the sir. ones we've been hearing about that are delicious. Yes. And what's what's inside? That is a uh, faluda rabri. Oh, wow. And what type of uh, ingredient is that? It looks like mini spaghetti. Yes, yes. Like a uh, noodle slide. Oh. Right? Wow, that looks delicious. But cool. It's yeah. cool. Oh, it's cold. And yeah. this is lassi. Lassi, yeah. Uh, milk and curd. Milk and curd mix. And what do you recommend then? Which one's better? Uh, I think so. That is Lassi's. That's better. The Lassi's better. All right. Then uh, one Lassi for me. Lassi or Faluda for you? Yeah. Raul? Okay. Uh, we can uh, say one Faluda and one, uh, one Lassi. All right. Let's do uh, one Faluda and one Lassi. Perfect. Oh, as you can see here, we're getting a couple different types of and flavoring. And different types is Puri. Oh, uh, that puri. is India's Puri. It's the famous Rewadi Puri. Famous Puri. This is the Rewadi Puri. It's the famous Puri. Oh, wow, this is the one right up yes. there. It's a uh, famous there. shop in this. All day. All day. So this is the one to come. Yes, to. yes. And yes. we have arrived. And look at them mixing it together there. So it's this turning is it into. Ramli. 
and ice. Wow, look at this color it makes. It literally almost looks like clear type of spaghetti. We've got those red syrups there. It gives it a flavoring. And we've got a spoon. Oh, Daniavad bai. Oh yeah, now that's looking delicious there, guys. Wow, look at the texture in there. It literally looks like spaghetti noodles almost, but it's got all of these different flavors. So let's go ahead and... Oh, we've got number two. Daniavad bai, number two. Yes. All right, well, which should we try out here? And, uh, Put in this side. Oh yeah, we've Put got a good spot side. over here, yeah? Gotta do the proper taste test. There we go, Donny Avad. Alright, so which do you think I should try out first? Uh, I think that's it. Uh, better. This one's better, yeah? Alright, we'll try it out then. I have thick? no idea what this is going to taste like here, so... It's a thick. It's going to be, it's going to take me a second to analyze these flavors. Mmm, that is very delicious. Wow. <laughs> It is sweet. Uh, like I was telling you guys, these almost look like mini spaghetti noodles. So you almost have like a similar texture to noodles, but you have a very strong sweet taste, a bunch of different flavors, fair amount of sugar in here too. So let me tell you this Including is- Including almonds and- Oh, almonds too, yeah. And another fruits. Yeah, what all is in there? So we have almonds, fruits, and dry fruits. Wow. Mm. Very flavorful, guys. This is fantastic. Now I see why it's world famous. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. Very good. Very good. The no. shop is very, very famous. The shop, because you guys make it the best way possible. Yes. Yeah, uh -huh. that's perfect. Now we're gonna and try this. The... Milk and curd mix. Milk and curd. Milk and curd mix. Oh, all right. That is the seed name. Name is lassi. Lassi. All right. We're gonna try one of these out. I think I might have had a lassi when I was in Kerala. Mmm. It almost tastes like a very like a thin layered or less dense version of yogurt, like a bit more milky than yogurt, very good. And I think it's that vanilla taste that's the strongest. It's got a pretty strong yogurt base. Yeah, yeah, so it's very nice. It's like your perfect type of like, after you eat a paratha, fill that belly up with a little dessert, grab yourself a lassie. Mm. Oh yeah, that is nice. I'm really grateful to you, Matt. Thank you. This is for you. What's up, please? Thank you. Yep. Thank you very much. And then uh, we'll pay our guy over here. 120? 120 or 130? 130. All right, my friend. 130. <laughs> Ah, perfect. The name is This is the one. Thank you, guys. Thank you, my friend. All right, guys. Chalo, chale. So, guys, we just uh, finished up that lassie. It's pretty good. We're actually walking through this area that's a bit deeper into the markets here, um, and we're gonna be trying something else out pretty soon here. Hello, my friend. Ab kaise hai? Theek hai. Ab ke naam kya hai? Ablo. DK, very nice to meet you. And uh, what is this? Sprout. Sprout? Uh, can I have one, please? 20 rupees. 20 rupees? I can, I can. Right, I'll get No, no. Chili. As you guys can see here, we've got a whole bunch of different vegetables that are being mixed in. These are some sort of these little like vegetables, almost look like small little hill capsules. Like if you look closely, it's like half yellow, half brown. You see that? It's so unique. I've never seen like a vegetable like that. And there's how many different things going in there? That's a little squirt of lime. That is, oh, and there's the spoon. Oh, we're pushing a couple out. And oh, we got a little mix going on there. Okay, we're gonna go. and, Wow, look at the way he's mixing it up. All in the bowl. We got the spoon right there and a few more. Downy Avad Bai. Oh yeah, guys, as you can see here, so many vegetables mixed up. We've got tomatoes, we've got... Raul, do you know the name of these like type of mini... Saprao. Saprao? Yes. Uh, uh, we call uh, Moongal. Moongal. All right, here we go, guys. We're gonna try some out of your fresh veggies. Oh, that's a lot of onions. I'm gonna it's be... very healthy. Very healthy, yeah? yeah. Oh yeah. Mmm. I don't know if you guys saw it, but back there, he tossed a little powder on there. That powder adds so much flavor to this. It's got a nice little spicy kick to it, let me tell you that. But it is quite nice. 
Mm. Oh, it's so unique. We've got tomatoes on there, onions. It looks like some smaller little like leaves in there. I'm not entirely certain the type. But very, very, very tasty. One of my favorite plates of vegetables I've ever had. And it looks like, guys, we even have a slice of a potato in there. So for 20 rupees, guys, that's about 30. Three cents, maybe 30 cents, maybe even less, 25 cents, to have a pretty big bowl. Like honestly, two, three bowls of these, you just had yourself a full vegetarian meal. That's very delicious. Mm. G double O D guys, good. good. Here in Delhi. Thank you, brother. I appreciate it. Thank you. All right. Chalo, my friend. All right, guys. I'd say. We shared with you quite a bit on this deli food tour. Is your belly feeling full, bro? Or are you still hungry? Yeah. Yeah, he's feeling full? All right. So am I. A lot of different cuisines there. Big thank you to Raul. He uh, did a lot of research to find some of the best spots around here and uh, helped me film that. So anyways, guys, that's where we're going to go ahead and end this video today. If you've enjoyed that one, smash that like button. And if you want to see more videos, both here in India as well as all around this world, hit that subscribe button below. And I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video.